Are you hungry? Hungry as a gremlin? Here's gremlin cereal. Gremlins, gremlins, bite after bite. What a tasty way to satisfy a gremlin appetite. Gremlins is a deliciously sweet, crunchy cereal that satisfies the hungry little gremlin. That's in all of us. Gremlins, gremlins, bite after bite. What a tasty way to satisfy a gremlin appetite. Gremlin cereal is part of this complete breakfast. Gremlin, yum, yum. Rambo and General Warhawk with their battle action weapons, each sold separately. There's a new cereal in the neighborhood with owls and ghosts. Tastes real good. Ghostbusters. Marshmallow ghosts. Fruit flavored O's. Ghostbusters taste great with milk and juice and toast. A nutritious breakfast with the ghosts. Ghostbusters. Fruit flavored O's. Marshmallow ghost. Hey, what are you gonna crunch? Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Yahoo! It's showtime. Hey, annoying hombres making you do stuff you hate. Don't lose your head. Make them history. Ah! Think that's scary? Watch this. Whoa! That went right through me. Did you see that? Now watch this. First, a double team. Ah! Now a double scare. Ah! Nobody beats me. Ah! Ah! So when you want to scare somebody. Give me a call. Beetlejuice! 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 Dino! Observer from the Galactic Court, here to make a routine progress check on you, Judge. So far, not good. Not good at all. 6 a.m. and still in bed? But, but court doesn't open till 9. And besides, you're not supposed to be here until tomorrow. I prefer to arrive early. That way I can catch people if they're not doing their jobs. Know what I mean? 
Yeah, I gotcha. Hang on a moment. I'll go get dressed. Ugh. It's time I got up anyway. There may be a lot of damage and assault cases coming up soon. A roving band of dingoes have been causing a lot of trouble lately. Star. The settlers are like a herd of quad machines. Yeah, fat, soft, bleating, and stupid. We dingoes are the true masters of New Texas. And the settlers are our prey. Let's ride! I'm sorry, Petey. I didn't see you. You okay? Oh, I all right, Judge. I have a nice day. <laughs> you too, Petey. The creature was blocking the sidewalk. He should have been given a ticket and a fine. What? No way. Petey works hard to help support his family. He wasn't causing any trouble. The law is the law, Judge. I'll have to make a note of your unwillingness to enforce it. Oh, but... That's not a regulation judge's uniform you have on, either. No, it isn't. The prairie people made this for me. It's better for the rough conditions on this planet. Mm, surely. Refuses to wear regulation uniform. What? What's going on? <gasps> Brave Star! What are you doing? Writing out a ticket. Why? That's my spaceship! That's nice. You're illegally parked, though. Spaceships don't belong in the middle of the street. Uh, wait a minute. Can't you let it pass this time, Marshal? This is an observer from the Galactic Court. That is correct. And I'm not accustomed to this kind of treatment. Better get used to it, then. Here you go. As a representative of the court, you should know the law better than anyone. I expect everyone to obey the law on this planet. Everyone. Have a nice day. Ah, I've never been... Insolent! He's the marshal. And he's right. The law applies to everyone. Judge! Judge! Come quick! Billy Bob, what is it? What's wrong? It's the Solar Cow Ranchers, Judge. They're trying to kick us off our claim! Well, we can't have that. I gave both you miners and ranchers permission to use that land. Oh, hang on, Billy Bob. I'll get my turbo stallion and go check it out. Meantime, you go tell the marshal. Right, Judge. Any new reports on those dingo outlaws yet, Big Party? Scanners are picking up a whole mess of turbo mules out in Acid Gulch. They are moving fast. Sounds like the dingoes, all right. Who's out there that might be in danger? <laughs> Ain't nobody ever lived in Acid Gulch, Marshal. But if the dingoes keep moving the way they's heading, they's gonna run smack into a bunch of solar cow ranchers out in Hydrogen Valley. Looks like there's a carrion mine around there, too. Sounds like trouble, all right. We better head out there and... Marshal! Marshal Brave Star! What is it, Billy Bob? It's the solar cow ranchers trying to kick us off in our claim! So miners are fighting with ranchers, huh? By any chance, are you both out in Hydrogen Valley? We sure are, Marshal. And them ranchers are giving us trouble. Billy Bob, you have no idea just how much trouble you're in. We'd better get out there, big partner. We got some stomping to do. Judge JB is heading out there, too. That's good, because we're going to need all the help we can get. <laughs> And you correctly, you intend to go out to a mining claim to investigate the situation personally? Yes, that's right. That is not a regulation action. Normally, judges have the people bring their cases into court. Well, this is New Texas, Buster. And around here, sometimes we gotta bring the law to the people. Buster! Wait! I have to report this! Wait! <laughs> Now, look 
take you there. You see, them Sola Cal ranchers are trying to run us off our claim. Well, I gave them permission to use that land, too. But they shooting. You fellas are shooting, too, I notice. Well, sure, we's defending ourselves. I suppose that makes a sort of frontier sense, right, Judge? Twombly, it's just a piece of rock and sand. Is that worth shooting at people for? We better get down there and bust up that fight before somebody gets hurt. Come and Judge. Right behind you, Marshal. Now, wait a minute. Let's ride. <laughs> They're going to report this. <laughs> you take the rancher, Judge. I'll handle the miners. Right, Brave Star. <laughs> Oh, shucks. Very impressive. Huh. Thanks. But hardly conduct becoming a judge. I'm afraid this is going to have to be reported. You really got it in for me, don't you? Me? Now, really, judge. Just let me ask you one question. If I lose my job as judge on New Texas because you give me a bad report, just who is next in line for my job? Well, I... I am. I thought so. Well, you don't have my job yet. So if you'll excuse me, I still have work to do. Oh, uh... And I think you'll find, Mr. Galactic Court Observer, that I may not do everything by the book, but I get the job done. Well, it looks like we got a real problem here, Judge. Both these parties have papers to use this land, and both these papers are signed by you. That's right. Ah, ah, you admit it? You admit giving two different groups the rights to use the same land? Sure, why not? Uh, don't make much sense to me, JB. <laughs> yeah. Well, look, you miners work under the ground, right? Right. And you ranchers keep your solar cows above the ground, right? Right. Then, why can't you both share the same land? One on top and one underneath. We'll show you, Judge. You see, we miners need to use our blaster picks to dig mines. And as ranchers, our solar cows need to eat photo clover to grow. So? So, watch this. <laughs> See, when the miners dig, the vibrations make the photo clover close up. Our solar cows go hungry. Well, that ain't our problem. We got a right to mine. Well, we got a right to ranch. Well, go ranch somewhere else. Photo clover don't go anywhere else. Why don't you go dig somewhere else? You think Karim's easy to find? Now, hold on, you two. There's only one way to settle this, and it ain't by fight. We'll let the judge decide. That's right. Let the judge decide. <laughs> and let's hope you make the right decision, Judge. Because if you don't, New Texas is going to have a new judge. <laughs> ah, poor JB. She's going through all her legal journals trying to find a fair solution to the problem. I don't think she can do it. She gave permission to both the miners and the ranchers to use the same land. But it turns out they can't work together. She'll have to take back one of her permits. And that won't look good when I make my report to the Galactic Council. No, no, no. And that means that New Texas will soon have a new judge. <laughs> Me. Mm, you little flying weasel. You won't do much judging if I pulverize you. Easy, big partner. That's right, horse face. You'd better be careful, because as soon as I'm judge, 
I'm going to have you two replaced. You won't have to. We'd quit first. Come on. Just let me shake him up a little. Oh, all right. Go ahead. <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate it. Play nice now. I'm going to get you, blokes. I wish you luck, JB. Because Twombly is the kind of judge that no one needs. Oh, let's see. I can't... No, that won't work. Oh, no! Oh, this is so frustrating. I know there's a solution. I can feel it. Yet I can't seem to find it. We need both miners and ranchers, yet they can't seem to work on the same land. Well, move your stupid animals, then! Oh, and apparently they can't get along, either. Well, why don't you dirt grubbers go dig somewhere else? I'm tempted. Your solar cows stink worse than practically anything on New Texas. Oh, you're right. As a matter of fact, only one thing smells worse than a solar cow, and that's a miner. Yeah. Well, I think maybe we should forget the judge and just settle this right here and now. Now! Now, isn't this where I came in, boys? Now, I want you two to... To what? Shh. Ears of the wolf! The wolf! The wolf! <laughs> What's going on, Marshal? Dingoes. A whole squad of them on turbo mules. They're headed this way. Oh, no. They'll steal our carrium. They'll rustle our cattle. Oh, no, they won't. Not if we fight back. But how? All our guns are wrecked. Well, isn't there something else you could use as weapons? Uh, we could use blaster picks. But uh, we can't outrun turbo mules. Solar cows run fast, don't they? Sure, we can ride them. Let's do it. We'll show them. Ha! That's the spirit. Now let's get moving. Ah, stupid! Cut it out! Better get back here, big partner. We've got some stomping to do. Hey, that's my line. I'll be right there. Sorry, Twombly, but we can't have you interfering and maybe getting hurt. Ah. So you just stay in there, or you'll be safe. Look! Carrium! And solar cows! <laughs> Let's get them! Here they come. Everyone ready? Ready. Then let's do it. It's over. That gang of dingoes won't bother anyone for a long while. Your cattle and carrium are safe. Thanks to these blaster picks, they were right handy. Uh, heck, couldn't have done it about them solar cows. Tell you what, Billy Bob. Me and the boys, well, we'll look for another field of photo clover. Ah, oh, no way, Alf. We'll go. There's other carrium on New Texas. Sure is a nice change in tone, right, Judge? Yeah, Brave Star, but I still feel there's a way that they can both work here. I just have to find it. Oh, say you, boo. Because otherwise, you're going to be in trouble. Why, you? Wait, 3030. Look, the photo clover. They're closing. Why, sure, Judge. They always close at night. That's it, then. That's the 
answer. You can both stay. What? You bet. Don't you see that ranchers can feed their solar cows during the day when the photo clover are open? Of course. And the miners can work at night when the photo clovers are closed anyway. Huh? Dang! I think it'll work. Sure it will. We miners work in the dark anyway. Glad it worked out, Billy Bob. Me too, Alf. Oh, that. Guess New Texas gets to keep the best judge it ever had after all. Yeah, so now let me tell you what you can do next, Twombly. You can take your report and you can stuff it. <laughs> <laughs> so, Twombly went back to present his report to the Galactic Council, huh? Yep. Another round of sweet water, Handlebar. Sure thing. One thing, though, he sure looked cheerful about going. There you go. Thanks for the drink, big part. Don't thank me. You're buying. <laughs> Horses don't carry money. Uh, what's that you said, Judge? Twombly left cheerfully? Yeah. And that seems strange, especially since he wasn't able to make a bad report on me. Maybe deep down he was really a nice little guy was glad to see you were doing a fine job. No. It was more a sneaky cheerfulness, like he was getting away with something. Hmm. Wonder what it could have been. You remembered to collect that parking fine from him before he left, right, Marshal? Marshal? Blast it! Ooh, you forgot, huh? All the excitement, it never occurred to me. Darn it! Well, sorry, Marshal, but you know the rules. Yep, comes out of your salary, pard. <laughs> Another sweet water judge? <laughs> Don't mind if I do, 30-30. Set him up again, handlebar. Brave stars by Hey! <laughs> In today's story, we met Alf and Billy Bob, two men fighting over the same piece of land. But when they were attacked by the dingoes, the two men learned to work together to protect themselves. When people work together, they can often solve problems that they wouldn't be able to solve by themselves. It's called teamwork, or cooperation. And it's a very important part of getting things done. So the next time you and your friends have a problem, why not try teamwork? Try it. I think you'll like it. and his men Mumbles, Flattop, Itchy, and Influence have called a meeting with Pruneface to get him to join their mob. Pruneface agrees, and with weapons drawn, they swear to get Dick Tracy once and for all. Suddenly, sirens blare, searchlights fill the room, and the door first open. It's Dick Tracy and his right-hand man, Sam Ketchum. Big Boy's gang is finished for now, but can Tracy keep him behind bars? Find out next time. Dick Tracy! From Playmates. Adventure continues now with Batman, the serial. And nothing can slow him down. Nothing can stop him from bringing it to you. It's here. A smashing taste. A honey nut flavored part of your complete breakfast. Batman, cereal. Terminator's back to fight evil with his mobile assault vehicle. I've got to find Evil T-1000. Disguised as a policeman, Evil T-1000 aims to destroy. I've got you now. Who's got who? Time to get serious. New mobile assault will blow you away. The party's over, T-1000. Adios, amigo. Terminator. I'll be back. Kids, I'm here to tell you about two extremely famous clones, Mario Mario and Luigi Mario, from the Super Mario Brothers movie. You want to know what makes them super?
They triumph over the evil Koopa and his brain sidekicks, Iggy and Spike, using only their plumbing tools, and they battle the Goombas. Koopa's hideous dino human army. Those Goombas are scary. The Super Mario Brothers action figures from Earl. But don't worry, they're not real. Exciting adventure. Colt's new romance is in danger. For the girl he's sweet on might never see again. A spy is loose in Abilene. But when it comes to spies, four can play at that game. Masquerades, Renegades, and the Unconquerable Ramrod connect with Saber Rider and the Star Sheriffs. Yeah, it's sort of like a space junkyard, a real eyesore. Makes my eyes sore, that's for sure. Why don't they clean it up? Because it protects the planet. You can only fly through with special instructions. Approaching planet Abilene, request flight path instructions. Acknowledge request. Who's out there? This is April, piloting Ramrod with Saber Rider and the Star Sheriffs. All right. Here's your flight path, Star Sheriffs. Now you just follow it exactly and you'll be just fine. Right. If you ask me, it's a strange way to protect an important supply planet. Our enemies don't know it's important because of all the junk. Don't you get it? It's still weird. <gasps> Another ship. It's not gonna make it. Let's go. Abilene Control, you gave us the wrong information. You set us on a collision course. Well, that's impossible. Don't tell me it's impossible. A ship just crashed. Oh, no. Why, that's never happened here before. Someone must have interfered with a rangefinder. You better find out who. We're going to fly over and investigate the crash site. Right. But they said there was one passenger. Ah, Colt! Is she all right? She was wearing her oxygen mask. Yeah, it's a good thing, too. I can feel her heartbeat. Hurry, Colt! Right, let's get her to safety. Colt, what's the news? Well, she'll pull through, but she may not be able to see. Mm, well, she has the best doctors. Yeah, I know. I checked on her background, Colt. Her name is Emily, and she was coming to visit her brother. It's some kind of family get-together, huh? Right, but get this. Her brother's in charge of the navigation tower. He's on his way here. You shouldn't be running. Where's my sister Emily? I asked you a question. Where is she? Emily Wyeth is in room 18, and please don't run. Doc's with her now. Oh, yeah? Who are you? Star Sheriffs. Star Sheriffs? Yeah, we pulled your sister out of that wreck. We're awful worried about her. Poor Emily. So, she's gonna make it, huh? Oh, yes, she'll survive, all right. But we don't know if she can see until we take off her bandages. I see. We'll be back. Yes, see you soon. Yeah, fine. Great thanks for saving his sister, huh? He sure didn't seem to care too much. 
very poor manners. Just add hot water and serve? Jumping tumbleweeds, they expect you to hunt down outriders on chow like this? Speaking of outriders, I have a hunch they arranged that collision. To get home, I or Emily. I smell something good. Oh, instant noodles. I love instant noodles. Figures. Well, you have the first bite, April. And if you don't keel over, I might even try some myself. It's hot. What do you say? I agree, April. The Outrider Trail is hot, but it'll get cold if we don't move fast. Yes, we must search for spies inside the control tower. I was talking about the food, you guys. The food is hot. Don't you ever stop thinking about Outriders? I do. Well, I'm so hungry I could eat a cactus pear with a cactus still on it. Yes, I can hear your stomach grumbling from here. So, let's eat. But we'll need some spoons, won't we? Spoons? You guys are finger-popping squares. You use chopsticks. Yeah, well, it comes with some kind of sticks. But how in the world do you slurp soup with a stick? Well, there must be a way. I mean, I hope there's a way. Well, <laughs> let's find out. This is it? Oh, shucks. Well, this is easy for a can-do kind of guy like me. You see, you just dip in and lift it up and... Real smooth, Colt. Look like good ones. Oh. <sighs> now, where did he learn to do that? This isn't a good place for little critters. You better vamoose. Who's there? Well, just a drifter who happened to be passing by. Howdy. Who's that? Uh, well, the name's He's Colt, He's a star man. sheriff. He's the one who saved you from that wreck. Pleasure. So, uh, how you feeling? Very alive, thanks to you. Shucks. How do you like these? Huh? Oh, I, I forgot you can't see. Well, there's some fruit and... Mmm, flowers. I can't smell them. Roses, aren't they? Well, that's quite a nose you got there. Where'd you get that nose, anyway? <laughs> it came with the rest of me. Rest is not bad, either, now that you mention it. <clears throat> Your throat okay? <laughs> oh, Colt, you're embarrassing her. Sorry, but I've got this problem. I seem to be falling in love. But you don't even know what I look like with all this tape covering my eyes. Yeah, well, you can't see me at all, but I still think you're getting sweet on me. <clears throat> There's that throat again. Cold. <laughs> Our system is foolproof, so the mistake must be yours. You probably didn't follow the path we gave you. That's bunk, bud. Check your own data. We followed your instructions to the letter. He's right. It's all on record. So you're right and I'm wrong. Look, I'm too busy to listen to this. Too busy to go see your own sister? That is none of your business. But as a matter of fact, I've done a lot for my sister. A great deal, in fact. What a guy. You think I care about your opinion of me? Look, I'm not running a popularity contest here. While you boys are bouncing around playing hero, I've got a control tower to run. I hope I've made myself clear. They won't be needing that tea. But why? Because they're leaving. Who's that? Emily, it's me, your older brother, Gerald. Oh, you finally came. Who brought those? Hmm? The bananas. Uh, the star sheriffs brought them. Uh, did they ask questions uh, about me? Uh-uh. Gerald, you seem so nervous, and your voice sounds a little bit different. Oh, I'm just worried about you, and my throat is a little dry. Gerald, sing me that song you used to sing when we were little. Huh? You remember the one you sang when I had the measles? Oh, you were so nice then. Oh, uh, yeah, that song. Well, I'll, I'll sing it for you later. Now, uh, don't tell anyone I was here, okay? Uh, it'll be our secret. It's kind of fun to have a little secret, isn't it, Emily? No. Now listen here. I'm your older brother, and I'm telling you, Emily, you're going to keep this a secret. No, I'm not. Secrets are bad. Do as I told you. No! Stubborn. Cross court. Oh. Now backhand. Oh. She's great. She was all pro, you know. But when the Outriders showed up, she had to give up tennis. Yeah, we all gave up a lot to be star sheriffs. Guess that's the way it goes. Paging the star sheriffs. Emergency call. Please pick up the nearest green telephone. Paging the star sheriffs. Let's check it out. Ah, 
so much for tennis, and it was love, love. Cold here. It's your nickel, so start talking. A mouse got sick from eating her banana? Poison? What happened? Someone put poison in those bananas, trying to get rid of Emily. The same one who set up the collision with Ramrod. That's what it looks like. But why Emily? Yeah, she's just a regular civilian. With a brother in high places. Yeah, old brother Gerald's the one behind this whole shebang. How do you know that? He's rude, but unfortunately, that's not a crime. Pard, he's as phony as a $3 bill. How can you prove that, Colt? Oh, I'll prove it, and it'll be fun. Did you ring me, Miss Pringle? Yes. There's someone to see you. I don't want to see anyone. Tell them I'm not here. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. You can't go in. Where'd they go? Now listen here. Shh. We're here on top secret business. We got a special communique from Cavalry Command. There's a spy here. Nonsense. Shh. He could be listening to us right now. You're the only one who's allowed to know. Look, there's no spies here. Well, you don't know these outriders. They're very tricky. You never know what they'll do next. We could talk this over with General Whitehawk. Uh, no, that's all right. Uh... Our orders are coming right from the top brass. I'd like to tell them we have your full cooperation. Yes, of course. First things first, we want to take over your office here, all right? What? Another office would be okay. What do you got? I'll check. Remember, top secret. <laughs> Well, I suppose this should do. As long as I can lock this briefcase in here, that's what counts. Why? What's so important about that briefcase? It's the key to the whole cult. We're not supposed to talk about that. Oh? I thought I was in on this operation. We have to keep something secret even from each other. That's why we're wearing shades. Yep, the sunglasses will fool the Outriders. You think those will fool them? <laughs> why, sure they will. Outriders are dumb. Uh, did I say something wrong? No, of course not. Go ahead with your spy hunting. <sighs> He's as nervous as a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs. Wait till he gets his water cut off. Outriders need lots of water. <laughs> come a tie, yeah, yippee, yippee, yeah, yippee, oh, yeah. Huh? Hey, come a tie, yeah, yippee, yippee, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's it. I'll just shut off this water valve. What? There's no more water. <sighs> Gerald, we got rid of the water to find the Outrider. They need water, you know. I'm sure you won't mind the inconvenience. Well, see you later, Gerald. Oh. <clears throat> All of your theories have checked out, April. It looks like an Outrider has replaced the real Gerald Wyeth. That's why he sabotaged Emily's ship. After all, she's Gerald's sister. Right. She was on her way to visit her brother, and she was the one person who'd have realized it wasn't really him. She had to be stopped. But what does he want? Information about our flight systems. He's got the real Gerald Wyeth held captive. We've got to find out where. We'll find him, sir. You can count on the Star Sheriffs. Keep your eyes peeled. He should be here any minute. Yes, I'd say he's taken the bait hook, line, and sinker. Now, we've just got to reel him in very carefully. You don't think there's any chance we could be wrong about that guy, do you? Pard, that dude's so crooked he could stand in the shadow of a corkscrew and still get plenty of shade. Yes, he's an outrider. No doubt about that. Here he comes. All right, don't turn around. Just go on like we're having a nice, friendly little chit-chat. So, uh, how's the weather? You think we're in for some rain here? There he goes. Right-ho. Time for phase two. Hmm. No one's here. I gotta find it. Purpose. 
Saber Rider? Yes, April. We've identified the spy. It's the director himself. But the only one who has the information he's looking for is the real Gerald Wyeth. And lucky for us, he doesn't know that. Let's just hope he doesn't find out. Right. So... All right, Wyatt. I know you've got the information on those flight systems. You fool. That dad is classified. Don't lie to me. I overheard the Star Sheriffs talking. Hello? Huh? Thought I heard someone mention the Star Sheriffs. Anything we can help with? No, I'm busy right now. Oh, you are a busy man. But you look so nervous, sweating and everything. You sure there's no problem now? All right, you all know I'm a spy. Let's drop the charade. I want that flight system's information, now! You know, friend, you shouldn't have listened in on Saber Rider's conversation. It was just too easy to track you with that powder on your shoes. You see, I told you Outriders were dumb now, didn't I? You... Man, you're not quick or bright. What can you do? You'll see! Say, what's in there? <sighs> you okay? Yes, thank you. It's all right. We'll get you out of here. April, we've got a renegade unit here. On my way. Okay. What is it? I'll show them. <laughs> I'm gonna wreck the control tower. I've been hit! We'll be back. Let's do it. Ramrod will now take navigational control. Acknowledge, April. Navigational control on. Ramrod challenge phase one. Head up, up, move them out. Power stride and ready to ride. Oh, look out! We're going down! Here he comes! Block! Try opening your eyes. Well? Yes, I can see. Oh, Emily. Gerald. <gasps> Gerald, it's really you. Yes, that imposter's gone for good, thanks to the Star Sheriffs. Incidentally, they're on their way to see you. Really? Oh, I want to see Cold. Thank you, Doctor. Emily, we could wait for them. What do you think Emily will say when she lays eyes on you? I don't know. Hmm, is that him? She's beautiful. He's not saying anything. I can't think of a thing to say. Oh, I guess it's not him. 
Excuse me. Why don't you stop her? Well, uh, that is, you know how these things are, April. With all my charm, I, I'd hate to break her heart. What? what? You dweeb. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Cold, it is you. The most excellent cereal. Pass the gruel. Looks like a gruel duel, dude. Heinous display of manners. We've got a most excellent way to start your day. Or night. Bill and Ted's excellent cereal. Cinnamon oats with marshmallow notes. It's the most triumphant part of this complete breakfast. Awesome cereal duels. Who gets the last bowl? He does. New Bill and Ted's excellent cereal. It's most excellent. Make no mistake, Jack Slater is the last action hero. Ah! Ripper, are you looking sharp today? Whack! Big mistake. Cool, Slater talks! Whack! Welcome, Slater. Jack, help! Pull up a chair. Heads up. Yo! Ooh, Danny, don't let them get away! Oh, no! You guys still hanging around? Sound Punch Slater and Chair Crashing Slater talk and make sound effects. Other figures sold separately. New from Mattel. This summer, coming to a supermarket near you, there's going to be a great new high sea flavor with an outrageous food taste. And what are we going to call it? Ecto Cooler. High sea Ecto Cooler. Slimer's new food drink. You've been warned. It's the Jurassic Park Command Compound. With an electronic computer that says over a hundred commands. Ben, help! We need more firepower! The computer... Ben, help! ...helps you control Jurassic Park. Got him! T-Rex attacking. Watch out, Ben! Fire the net! Got him! Compound secure. Yeah. Jurassic Park Electronic Talking Command Compound. Figures and dinosaurs sold separately. Batteries not included. He's always there, fighting for freedom over land and air. G.I. Joe! G.I. Joe's there! G.I. Joe is the code name for America's daring, highly trained special mission force. Its purpose? To defend human freedom against Cobra, a ruthless terrorist organization determined to rule the world. He never gives up, he'll stay till the fight's won. G.I. Joe will dare. Commander's plans have gone awry. Destro, darling, where are you? 
<laughs> Thank you, Destro. I'd be finished without you. How can I ever repay? You don't have to. Return the headquarters. But headquarters is destroyed. All the better. Now vanish. Yes, ma'am. I hope to see you again, my hero. Destro, how much longer are we going to be Cobra Commander stoops? Uh, uh, one more arms deal, and I will have everything I will ever need. And? And then I, we, shall retire to a remote island, leaving the commander and his insanity behind. Yes, then all of our troubles will vanish. We must force the world leaders to lay down their weapons. Take hope, comrades, uh, friends. World peace is at hand! And what do I hear for this state-of-the-art fighter bomber? One million dollars! One million? Why, that would barely pay for the cockpit! Let alone the precious metals uh, uh, that have gone into the, this fine... Let us turn our attention to this excellent tank! A masterpiece! Don't make a move! Oh, we'll technological you right into the next century. Not likely, G.I. Joe. After him. We'll take care of these guys. You're all under arrest for illegal arms procurement. <laughs> you cannot arrest us. We have diplomatic immunity. <laughs> of all the... They're right. We can't arrest them, but we can get Destro. Come on. Yeah, this is disgusting. Yeah, reminds me of your apartment. Nope, there's no TV in here. Give it up, Destro. You're surrounded. You'll never take me alive. Destro, up here. Thank you, whoever you are. Coverta Fatal. I thought you were but a legend. I am, but I'm also flesh and blood. Why did you save me? I long to meet the famous Destro. Well, perhaps we could go somewhere more intimate. What of the Baroness? Bah, she is but a confused creature with whom I have been erroneously linked. I must warn you, Destro, that I am known to bring bad luck to men. I do not believe in luck, only destiny. Then perhaps it is destiny that has brought us together. Destiny that I see your face. That I cannot show you. I've saved your life and you can't show me your face. It has to do with an ancient family curse. Many years ago, one of my ancestors was convicted of witchcraft. Stop him! Let me go! He was forced to wear a mask over his face for the rest of his life. His descendants were so angered that they vowed to fight the forces of law and order forever. We shall all wear masks until law is sacrificed upon the altar of history. I understand. But what of your other relatives? We meet on the winter solstice to honor our vows. The longest night of the year. I love long nights. As far as I'm concerned, it was a wash. Destro got away and the arms buyers got off scot-free. Look at it this way, Flint. We got their weapons. I wouldn't wish that defective junk on Cobra. Well, maybe. Mail call. Well, what do we got here? Looks like a past due car payment. Way past due. <laughs> Must have slipped my mind. Hmm, so now number five. Looks like Roadblock uh, has an admirer. Who's Allison Hard Burnett? That's mine. That's my real name. Here you go. After considerable effort, we have identified you as the last living heir of Dame Agatha Doyle. Please come at once to Loch Lomond in northern Scotland to lay claim to Doyle Manor. Sincerely, Clayton Oliver Nichols, Solicitor at Law. 
Hey, timing is perfect. I'm on vacation next week. Care to join me, Flint? Can't. Maybe the week after. You know, this whole deal smells fishy to me. Well, come when you can. I'll be okay. Thank you for everything, Solicitor Nichols. It's my job, madam. <laughs> Have I seen that face before? Hey! <laughs> the other one looks like me! Uh, what? Who are you? I am the housekeeper, madam. You startled me. This is not a house for the timid, madam. Don't tell me. It's haunted. Some say. So beware. Never enter the North Chamber. It be cursed. Now, who might that be? Never seen him in these parts. Where'll you take me, Lord? I have come to find the solicitor. There'll be no solicitor in this town. We have no need of one. We handle our problems ourselves. Well then, Where's the manor house? You can see it over there. If the mist off the moors be nay covered on it, there it stands. But stay away if you be valuing your life. Tis a place of evil. Who's in here? Joe will return after these messages. Now, back to G.I. Joe. about the North Chamber. I, uh... Especially at midnight. December 21st, the day of the winter solstice. Four days before Christmas and I feel anything but merry. Fact is, I'm spooked. Oof. This is ridiculous. Imagination. It is only my imagination. Oh. Now we're getting somewhere. shall avenge the indignity perpetrated on our ancestors. We shall avenge the indignity perpetrated on our ancestors. Oh, creature.
creature of the deep, we call upon you to renew our pact with the cauldron of chaos. Come forth from the pit, source of our power. Deliver her unto the pit. Show yourself. on your prayer meeting. Joe agents do not just stumble upon things. Joe agents? Destro! Tell the truth or die. Ah! I told you the truth. I inherited the manor house, but I didn't know a jacuzzi came with it. I find that hard to believe, given that this is my ancestral home. Maybe we have an ancestor in common. I find that thought most distasteful. Lower her into the pit! You have a very short time to tell me the truth! G.I. Joe. Thanks for the rescue. Raise your hands. I told you there was something fishy about this place. You did? Flint! Let's get out of here. Joe team, this is Flint. Flint, this is Breaker. What can I do you for? Home in on my signal. Lady J and I are in deep trouble. Deploy strike team immediately. Get them! If these heat-seeking rockets don't get them first...
I sense great evil here. Destroy them! I think we lost them. Don't bet on it. In there. We're between a rock and a hard place. Trouble bubbles! Cobra attack! Sometimes it's best to know when to retreat. Capture the sacrifice! Capture the sacrifice! Cowards! I'll get you out of there. Grab my hand! I can't move! What's he doing? You don't want to know. Got deeper. We've got to tell our guys that we're safe. Well, well, well. What have we here? A little old holographic ghost maker. home has stood, and now is no more. You truly do bring ill fortune to men. Ill fortune? <laughs> it's revenge, you faithless beast. What? I arranged it all. I led the <coughs> Joe agent here knowing this would be the result. Baroness! But, but why? Why? to make you pay for your unfaithfulness with that which you value most, your ancestral home. Your brilliance is matched only by your taste for vengeance, Baroness. <laughs> and to think I actually believed I was related to a G.I. Joe. I checked the records, Destro, darling. You are. And this is but a taste of what you shall suffer if you describe me again as, quote, a confused woman with whom I have been erroneously linked. Ah, 
I hope you never learn what horror your actions may have caused. <laughs> G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Take the hippest film of the year home for keeps. Awesome! Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles the movie is on video cassette at a great low price. Righteous! And it only gets better because each video comes with coupons for over $20 worth of food and drinks from Pizza Hut. I love being a turtle! Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles the movie. Cowabunga! Get them while they're hot. Available at Target for $18.88. Who knows what evil lurks in the hearts of men? <laughs> the Shadow Knows. Armed with Quick Draw 45s, the mysterious crime fighter faces the evil show on Khan, now ready for battle. But Shadow's hypno eyes cloud men's minds. You will obey. I will obey. But Khan escapes on his serpent bike. After him, Shadow. Khan fires Boom. first. Shadow cycle pops a ah. wheelie, launching a counter missile. Oh. Each sold separately. <laughs> End of the room, Khan. Or is it? Who knows? <laughs> the Shadow Knows. Tell me, how does a man dressed like a bat get all the attention? With my incredible wall scaler, Joker won't be laughing for long. How special! And don't forget my crime attack battering. Fire! Isn't that swell? Now let's really stop your smile. Iron Witch, into action. You're finished, Joker. I just wanted a little attention. The Dark Knight Collection, each sold separately. Batman, the legend lives on. Cops, central organization of police specialists, fighting crime in a future time, protecting Empire City from Big Boss and his gang of crooks. of the rock and roll robbers cops file 160044 when dr bad vibes invented hypnotic music it threatened to rock the very foundations of empire city security here's how the caper came down uh, another robbery foiled by cops you guys blew it again looks like normal armed robbery is too much for you to handle Fortunately, Dr. Bad Vibes has just invented some hypnotic rock instruments that put people in a trance. Now, with these earmuffs, that hypnotic racket can't affect me. 
But look at those poor slobs. <laughs> They've turned into rock and roll zombies. <laughs> Imagine the possibilities! Thousands of fans at a rock concert. <laughs> Helpless, ready to be robbed. <laughs> right! All we need are some volunteers for Empire City's first villain rock group. Far out! Yeah! I always wanted to be a rock star! <laughs> What do you think? I think you guys look ridiculous. But at least you won't be recognized. I've already arranged for our first concert this afternoon in Empire City Park. I've even thought of a name. From now on, we're the Bad News, the baddest band in the land. Boys, just as we rehearsed it. <laughs> okay, come. Those riffs, big boss. Gear, fab, a gruesome stone groove. Oh, this younger generation. Where's Perry Como when we need him? Security for a rock band? But I hate rock music. Can't you send Long Arm or Mace? Sorry, they're both on other assignments. Well, personally, I'm fired up. Rock is rad. Sounds like a fun assignment. You're not there to have fun. The mayor's daughters have special permission to watch the band during the broadcast. I want you to look after them. I can't believe this. Guard duty for a rock and roll band. Talk about mixing business with pleasure. Yeah, big whoopee. Oh, there's the mayor's daughters, by the way. Obviously, two young ladies of culture with connections. And no rock lovers of Empire City! Dr. Rock here! Bringing you the best in musical medicine for all of life's little pains! And do we have some extra special rock and roll therapy for you today? Raise yourselves, ladies and gents! Is that guy for real? Okay, everything is all set. Now set your guitars for hypno sound and put on your protective earmuff. I hope Buttons McBoom Boom and Two Tone are in position. <laughs> well, there's the audience, ripe for the picking. When I think of those three playing music, I'm happy to be putting these on. And so without further delay, today's free scripture, the bad news. Oh boy. Hello, Empire City! Hey, what do you think you're doing? What? I'm the leader of this band. Who died and made you Elvis? Cut the chatter! This is live TV! Live TV? Wow! Just imagine how many people will be watching me! Quiet, bonehead! Now! Now one, and a two, and a... Well, it's harvest time. Let's go. Hey, it's not bad. Yeah. Easy <laughs> Like candy from a baby.
It's Boom Boom's car. He's headed for the main gate. Let's head him off. Okay, you. Huh? What's that noise? A helicopter. <laughs> well done, boys. Hard top, that music was hypnotic. Yeah. While we were tripping to the rock beat, the crooks were robbing us blind. How could you let this happen? You people were supposed to be in charge of security. Uh, well... Oh, boy. We've been overwhelmed with calls all afternoon. All the people at the rock concert say their valuables were stolen. The mayor is furious. I just don't understand it. This was a routine crowd security assignment. Well, it was the music, Bulletproof. It was hypnotic. And McBoom Boom's car was there, too. I hate rock and roll, but even I went into a trance. And the band left by helicopter. Pretty smooth. Mirage, you just became a talent scout. Me, sir? You're kidding, right? Our next move, then, is to infiltrate this rock group and find out just what's so special about their music. And that's what you two are going to do. Let's get it straight, crushed rock brain. When we play, I'm the leader. Me? Follow you? You gotta be nuts. Knock it off, you two. We've got a job to do here. Big Boss will be pleased. He lent us his limousine for our next job. Empire City's young elite will be attending a most expensive concert. Huh? I'll get it. Tom Tom Terrorist here. A drummer for the bad news. What can I do for you? Hey, Tom Tom, baby. Got your number from Dr. Rock. I'm Roxanne Roller, talent scout for Mega Hit Records. Listen, darling, heard about the bad news, would just love to discuss a record deal. Well, uh, I don't think... <clears throat> hey! Hi there! I'm Snarlin' Riff, leader of the bad news. D did you mention a record deal? Well, Snarlin', darling, not just a record deal. I'm thinking movies, TV specials, and, of course, T-shirts. <laughs> Whoa! Well, we're playing the Metropolis tonight. Why don't you drop by and we'll talk? I'll be there. Later. You black hole of boneheadedness. We're not a real rock band. Oh, yeah? Who said so? This is great! Ah, to be a criminal genius and a musical genius. Good evening, darlings. This is my associate, Mr. Disc. Mega Hit Records is very excited over you three. We want to start you right off with a European tour. Let me show you where you'd be going. Huh? Huh? Already? You wouldn't want to get lost, would you? Oh. Right! We'll begin in Paris, France. I know the French will love you even better than they love Jerry. Let's see. Hmm, another Dr. Bad Vibes quality product. That's right, huh? cop! Only a cop would know who I am. And only a cop would be snooping around in here. Get them both! Hey! Oh, I guess this means our Paris tour is off. Let's get them. Yeah. <clears throat> Songs over, cops. <laughs> All right, Doctor Rock here with this morning's rock news. Last night, as they performed at that number one rock nightclub, the Metropolis, it was robbed. Well, would you believe it, baby? The bad news weren't kidding with that name of theirs. That's the second time this group has attracted the wrong crowd. In a related story, two undercover cops are reported missing as they were conducting an investigation into the bad news at the Metropolis last night. Shut that off, Berserko! 
Shucks, I thought they were going to review us. We were great last night. Don't you realize what that report means? That we need more practice? No, you buffoon. The cops must know by now that the bad news are behind these robberies. Well, I thought we were supposed to be bad news anyway. What's wrong with that? <laughs> What the? Ah, it's Mirage's identity ring. They'll prevent us from playing anywhere in Empire City again. You mean we're never going to be on Dr. Rock's music video show? Gee, and I told my mother to watch for me. Hey, not a bad idea. Tell your mother to stay tuned. Today, all of Empire City is going to hear the bad news. Dr. Bad Vines. And they're all going to pay dearly for the pleasure. And for the Empire City Broadcasting Center. It's crime fighting time. Let's go, cops. The show must go on. How's about you give me the keys to the storage room, okay? Would you be so kind as to direct us to the Dr. Rock Show? Calling all cars in the Media Plaza area. I want all units to the Empire City Broadcasting Center on the double. <laughs> Keep you here in storage while we rob Empire City. They're gonna put the whole city in a trance. Uh, uh, we gotta get out of here. We will, uh, but we have to uh, get out of these robes first. Hey, Hardtop! Look! The edge of this symbol should do the trick. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, we have a change in therapy today. Uh, 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 in a few short minutes, uh, we're gonna bring you uh, the bad news. Okay, you guys, get ready. I've just been on the phone to the big boss. He has villains planted all over the city, ready to strike every bank, home, and apartment when we begin to play. Nothing can stop us now. Move it, man. We don't have much time. Freeze, McBoom Boom! <laughs> We're cops. You're under arrest. Great work. You got the fake instruments? Yeah. Okay, let's go. <laughs> the recording studio is just down the hall. Now to find out how bad the bad news really is. Huh? Hardtop, someone's coming! Boy, I can hardly wait! We'll be great today! The big boss will be proud of us! Just think, we could be making record history! I'm sure glad my mom will be listening! Well, come on, let's go! Our public is waiting! Phew, that was close. Doesn't matter. Now everyone will know their fakes. Well, if their playing is as bad as their morals, we're in for some terrible tunes. 
And so, uh, without further consultation with me, I give you, and I ain't kidding, the bad news. <laughs> How great we sound! They're worse than I imagined. Let's see if we can put them out of our misery. Right there. Uh, hey! You're all under arrest. Not so fast, cops! Hey! To the roof! Two tones waiting with the jet copter! I've always liked special effects at a rock concert. Come on, cops! Let's get them! Looks like the bad news and company got away. Yes, but we prevented one of the biggest robberies in Empire City. Yeah, I wonder how the big boss is going to react when he finds out his team messed up again. What? Do you all three have anything to say for yourselves? Well, Berserko said he was the leader, so he should take full responsibility. What? I just did what Dr. Bad Vibes told me. Now, wait a minute. Why, me? Big Boss was foiled once more. Dr. Bad Vibe's special musical instruments were destroyed, and the bad news were never seen or heard in Empire City again. File 160044, The Case of the Rock and Roll Robbers. Case closed. Up, roll call, highway, mainframe, long arm, Bowser and Blitz, sundown, hardtop, mirage, bullseye, mace, barricade, and they call me bulletproof. These are Empire City's most wanted crooks. Berserko, rock crusher, misdemeanor. Turbo Two-Tone, Dr. Bad Vibes, Nightshade, use caution in apprehending. Cookie Charm! <laughs> Yahoo, it's me, Beetlejuice. You want him? Check out my great new house, The Vanishing Doll. Scary! Each sold separately. Just lie down inside and say, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Even small, I'm scary. Boo! Ah! Now, back to normal. Beetlejuice. Let me try it. Beetlejuice. Where'd he go? And that's why they call it the Vanishing Vault. 
Welcome back. So how was the vault? I lost my head over it. Ah! Beetlejuice Vanishing Vault comes with micro figure. Other figures sold separately. Universal Studios Hollywood brings you more action, more adventure, more thrills, and more fun than anyone else. And this holiday, we're bringing you even more. Come thrill to an incredible new adventure, Waterworld Live. It's Southern California's only new attraction, and it's only at Universal Studios. We blow everything else out of the water. I don't need a big production. I just don't like waiting for things. Then you'll love the new Blockbuster Visa card. Use it at stores, restaurants, wherever, and earn rewards every month towards free movies, CDs, and a whole lot more. No other card offers so much fun stuff so fast. And the way I see it, why wait for what's coming to you? Blockbuster Visa from Nations Bank. Who think a Visa card could be this entertaining? Brave champion Zanzor. Of all who were sent on this final task, you alone have succeeded. You have brought the Defiler to face the Metal Maiden. Metal Maiden? That doesn't sound too bad. Science conference in Berkeley, huh, Kim? Does the girl good to stretch your mind? Emergency channel! This is Dynatech Industries! We are under attack! We're close by. Let's check it out. this up. It's time for another run. 
Why was Cybron after them? Will those sky circles never cease to confound me? No one is invincible, Father. Not even Sky Surfer One. That is the fools who do my bidding who are to blame. Here is all the data we have on Jack Hollister. I am sure you will find a chink in his armor. It is a joy to have such a loyal daughter as you, Serena, dear. Somewhere in Jack Hollister's past is the key to his destruction. I don't know what Cybron's up to, but we're staying here until we find out. Kim, did you turn up anything on the scientists in that minibus? They're all experts in different fields. Geology, soil science, engineering, but nothing jumps out. One of them is working on something that caught Cybron's attention. Excuse me? Can I help you? I... I'm Allison Hollister. <gasps> Your sister. Huh? Allison. I know this is a shock. It's been ten years. I, I thought you were drowned when your sailboat got caught in the storm. I know. It was stupid of me to take the boat out in that weather. You even told me not to do it. I did? I must have. Why didn't you let us know what happened to you? I had amnesia. I just began to remember my other life a few months ago. Oh, Jack. I'm so glad I found you. Yeah. Me too. Remember the last time you saw me? You and Dad were working in the lab at the old house, transcribing Dad's notes on the Artificial Intelligence Project. He said there were some errors in the AI brain design. I was tired of working and left. I was going sailing. I, well, you know the rest. I'm glad you survived. And I'm really happy you found me, sis. I am too. Jack, I'm scared. There have been some strange-looking men following me since I arrived here. Borgs. You'll be safe here. And don't worry, I'll be close by. Thanks. This luxury will take some getting used to. Jack, huh? this is Enforcer. We need you. Sorry, Allison. Something's come up. Don't leave the hotel. Jack here, what's up? Borgs attacked an armored car in the financial district. I'll meet you there. <laughs> There they are! That's an unauthorized withdrawal! Easel! It was a hologram! This whole stunt was a setup! You mean a diversion? To get us away from Allison? was triggered by this beam. You set it off when you came in. Let's go Borg hunting. Freeze! You're under arrest for murder. You're nuts. We gotta tip you, be here, wise guy. Now hands behind your heads. Later. <laughs> Heroes in the morning, fugitives by night. What a life. No doubt orchestrated by Cybron. He'll answer for what he did to Allison. This just in, an anonymous donor is offering a one million dollar reward for the capture of the vigilante crime fighters known as the Sky Surfers. They are wanted for questioning in the apparent death of Allison Hollister. What? what? Huh? If you see the Sky Surfers, call 555-5555. Great, we made most wanted. This is a stick up! Everybody on the floor! I love it when they're stupid. <laughs> Look, there they are! Those are the Sky Surfers! Let's get them! 
as Confucius would say. Let's get out of here. Breaker wound to anyone listening. We've spotted the Sky Surfers. They're heading downtown. since the public thinks we're rats. What I'd like to know is who put a million dollar bounty on our heads? Maybe it's the atmosphere down here, but I smell Cybron. Huh? Are you guys the Sky Surfers? You want to make an issue out of it? No way! We're the Sewer Surfers, and we think you dudes are cool. It went exactly as you planned, Father. The Sky Surfers are fugitives. What of Professor Logan's Geowave Accelerator? It will soon be in my hands. Then perhaps we can abandon our pursuit of the Sky Surfers. No! Do not lose your fondness for Jack Hollis to make you salt. The Sky Surfers will be destroyed! I've tapped into the Geologic Conference database. Here's a list of high-tech projects in the works. You're pretty good at this, Derek. Low-tech environment, high-tech gadgets. One thing Cybron might be interested in is this Geowave Accelerator. Go on. It puts out high-frequency vibrations which can turn the ground into molten lava. And also turns buildings to dust. It's for construction purposes. Or in Cybron's hands, destruction. Now who's that? You're not exactly in the phone book. Hello. Jack, it's Allison. Oh, you're all right. I'm at our old house. Please come. Hurry. I know what they're after. It's the notes on Dad's artificial intelligence project. Allison? It's not there. It never was. It was all a charade. Serena! You feel the tingling? That's a memory implanted in your neck. Those fond childhood memories of me. All false. You planted it when you hugged me. Sorry, Jack. Uh, uh, uh. An added feature. The memory implant temporarily paralyzes you. Uh, 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 Don't try to move. It's useless. There. Is that better? Too bad it has to be like this. We would have been good together. Let's blow this joint! turned out to be Serena. They wanted to get me out of the way permanently. So, what have you learned? Well, if Cybron's after Professor Logan's Geowave Accelerator, he'll never have a better chance than tomorrow. Logan's giving a presentation of the Accelerator at Berkeley. The research and construction of the device spanned a period of ten years. And at long last, here is the prototype of my Geowave Accelerator. It works in theory, but has yet to be tested. Don't worry, Professor. We'll put it to the test. We'll never find them now. Leave it to me. I think I know a way. Now remember.
remember, we don't have much time, okay? Now hit it. We have what we call the sewer pipeline. We get the scoop before news at 11. Wilma. Whoa! That gal sure knows how to hang ten! I told you we'd find Cybron's hideout. Show me. We're here, and Cybron's there. One question, Scott. How are we gonna keep those police copters off our case? We'll take the Bart Tunnel. It goes under the bay to Oakland. All reward the men on TV said. The Sky Surfers have discovered our location. Make sure they never get here. It'll be a pleasure. Now, Professor, sit back and enjoy. It's time we tested your brilliant invention. Is it ready, Serena? Yes, Father. Then we shall see if it works. And there's our target. No, you can't. Of course I can. And I am. San Francisco won't miss one of their little hills. Do it now!
exploding board copters in the evening. Professor? I'm not sure if I want to. Nobody move! You're under arrest! You don't understand. These people are heroes. They saved my life. Save the city. They're still wanted for the death of Allison Hollister. Who's dead? Huh? <gasps> well, I'll be. How could you do this to me? Sky Surfer 1 was right where I wanted him, and you let him go! Call it an act of love, Father. Besides, you need the Sky Surfers around to push you to even greater glories. One day, your love for Sky Surfer will be the cause of my destruction. Terminator! I'm back! Got to find John Connor! But Evil T-1000 gets to him first! Hey, back off! Terminator's heavy metal cycle zeroes in and fires! Ah. But T-1000 stands to get even! This is for getting on my bad side! You're next, John Connor! I'm back! Terminator deploys his secret weapon! Hasta la vista, baby! Terminator! This time! Terminator! Is back! We were hunting dinosaurs, but we became the prey! The Lost World Jurassic Park! We were pursuing a parasaur when the dino cycle suffered dino damage! And we were surrounded by screaming raptors! The raptors were all over us! We activated our glide packs to escape, but a pteranodont cancelled our flight! Something has survived! Will you? The Lost World Jurassic Park! Look for the mark of Jurassic Park figures and vehicles each sold separately. Attention Pokemon fans, get ready for Pokemon Live at the Fox Theater. Now you can be there as all your favorite characters come to life in this on-stage musical adventure. It's the only place to see a brand new Pokemon with amazing powers. You can meet Brock, Misty, Ash, and of course, Pikachu as the action hits the stage at the Fox Theater. Want to catch them all? Gotta catch it live. Pokemon Live. It's the incredible Crash Dummies! Did you see that car? How could I miss it? Stop the testing! Introducing Junkman, a Crash Dummy gone bad. With his Junkbot gang, he's out to stop Crash Testing. And it makes the world an unsafe place! You gotta catch us first! There's a Crash! Grab him! <laughs> oh! Junk bots, incredible crash dummies, and cars sold separately. Don't you be a dummy. Buckle your safety belt. A little boy named Rusty found a secret out this year that he was once a pharaoh when Egyptians ruled the world and having all sorts of things there. He has a lot of 
Fisherman's Wharf class is one of the most fascinating places in all of San Francisco. This is what shopping was like before supermarkets. The noise of the crowd, the bustle of the marketplace, the sights, the sounds. The smells! Ugh. Why can't we just go to the mall? The mall? The problem with you, Presley, is that you don't realize how the past has made us what we are today. Oh, I think I've got a pretty good idea, Mr. Huxley. It's even more than you think, Prince Rapsies. More than you think. Well, looks like we're in for a little fog today. There's nothing to be afraid of. <gasps> Step away quietly. <laughs> Don't panic, class. On second thought, panic! <laughs> Come on, Jacob. Rapses, he's in danger. either. I agree. They're specters meant to frighten, not all. But who summoned them? I think we should find the answer up there. Spirits can't hurt you. In theory, at least. Mm. Pooper 
impressive. But what was that all about? This might tell us. Don't get too wound up about this, Raph. I'm trying to find some clue about the statue Chandra dropped. It just has to be important. Wait, perhaps here. No! No, it must serve some purpose. But why would Chandra have had it with her? Oh, Raph, don't you know? Cats always sit and watch, waiting for the moment to strike. Yes! Here it is! The eyes are windows. The windows gateways. What's it mean? I'm, uh... Well, I'm, I'm not sure yet. The ancient scrolls are like the guides for your recorders of tales. You mean VCR instructions? Yes. You know they say something important, but you just can't understand it. I wish I could stay to help, but I've got to meet Mom for dinner. <sighs> I'll keep working. You know, when I get stuck studying, I take a little nap before I crack the books again. Um, yes. Perhaps a rest would clear my mind. But I'd advise you to be careful cracking your books. Papyrus breaks very easily. I'll remember that. Later, Raph. Don't you know, Kati? Curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> Night wrath, revenge shall be mine. Tia, you are too good to me. What's this? <laughs> Your son insisted on helping me with the ink making. You are both too good to me. Someone needs to be. You take care of everyone, except yourself. husband. <gasps> Tia! Is it really you? It's me, Jakal. I've come through the Western Gate to find you. I've waited so long, Jakal. The other side is where you belong. With me, your wife. Not in this strange world. I know, but my duty is here, protecting Prince Rapses. What about your duty to me? <sighs> I'm so lonely waiting for you, Jakal. I lost you once. I can't bear losing you again. I miss you, Jakal. Tia, wait! Come back! <laughs> One down. Yourself, son. Mom? Just look at you. You're nothing but skin and bones. Well, I am a mummy, mummy. Mummy, mummy. You should eat. Eat. Um, huh? Eat. Eat. Mom? Mom? I must have been dreaming, but no dream ever smelled so good. Now I'm hungry. Guess I'll have to settle for a burger. It's good, but it's sure not Mom's elephant ear on a bun. Mm. Now that's home cooking. Oh, the way to that man's heart is definitely through his stomach. Now. 
Nefer? Is that you? Kenna? You're a woman. Why didn't you tell me, Nefer? It's Nefertina, actually. And I... I was afraid. All I ever wanted to do was drive chariots. You could have told me. We were friends. Or was that a lie, too? I couldn't have told the truth. Not without giving up everything I'd become. Because they couldn't accept that a woman could do it. I'd have never driven a chariot again, even though I was the best. If you'd had the courage, you could have changed their minds. Instead, you lived a lie. Think of the women who came after you that you could have helped. But you were afraid. Afraid! I was afraid. I should have made them accept that a woman can do anything a man can do. By the way, you and I are alone. Armand? Rath? Guys? Oh, hi, Jakal. Where are the others? Elsewhere, my prince, waiting for you. Tonight is a special night. You've reached a turning point in your training. The others are waiting to celebrate. Rath didn't say anything about it earlier. Of course not. It is, um, what you would call a surprise party. Hey, cool. Why are you taking my amulet? Tonight, my prince, you shall receive a new amulet to mark your passing. Chandra, I can't. I have my duty. It isn't that I'm turning against you. It's just I have my own life to lead. You told me I'm the best student you ever had. Maybe even more than that. But Prince Rapses is my student now. I must obey the Pharaoh's command, even if my heart commands me to stay. You'll pay for this, Wrath. You'll end your life a lonely, dried-up husk of a man. No! Uh, oh, what a dream. Somehow, I don't think that was the risk Prince Repsis had in mind. <gasps> what is this? Repsis wouldn't leave his amulet. <gasps> Chantra. There's one more thing you must learn to complete your training, my prince. Yeah? What is it? Appearances can be... be deceiving, boy. Chantra! Uh, my amulet! You tricked me! Yes. <laughs> I was pretty good, wasn't I? Hey! It's not my original plan. But you, my boy, are excellent bait. I've left Wrath a clue. If he's half the wizard I think he is, he'll come after you. <laughs> and I'll be waiting. No, no, that's no good. Get down, you sacred cat. Can't you see I'm busy? What is it, sacred one? Did the statue... <gasps> the statue? Of course! The eyes are windows! The windows a gateway! Chantry used the statue as a gateway into the Sphinx! Oh, good kitty! If she came in this way, I should be able to reverse the energy flow and go to her! With the strength of Rock! <laughs> What took you so long, Rath? Losing your edge? Let Prince Repsis go, Chantra. It's me you want. How noble of you. I didn't think you'd let a pupil mean so much to you. I love the boy as though he were my own son. Well, tonight, he'll be an orphan. <laughs> may just be a school 
my wife my mom this guy i hey what is this prince rapsies is in danger you're a fool rap the fog was nothing a diversion I meant to drop the statue. I knew you couldn't resist taking it home to study. Your curiosity led me straight to you. Give up, Wrath. You're no match for me. Quickly, my prince! She's right behind us! No! No! It's no use, my prince. <gasps> I loved you once, Wrath. For that, you will pay. You never loved me, Chantra. Only the power my teaching could give you. And what power it is! <laughs> You've never loved anything, Wrath, except your books and your pathetic tricks. You're wrong about that. I fell in love with one of my students. You never loved me, or you wouldn't have left me. Yes, I was once attracted to your beauty. The beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And now I see you for what you really are. You can't face what I really am. is mine. <gasps> you are not my mother. Let's kick tut. Another time, my love. Chantra's spell made me think. There are so many things I'd do differently if I had the chance to do them again. We can't waste our time with regrets. We can't change the past, but we can learn from it. Mm, yeah, but it was good to see Mom again. I still miss her hippopotamus stew. Well, I for one hope I never see my lost love again. Don't worry, Raph. Everybody's been through one of those bad breakups. You are wise beyond your years, oh prince. <laughs> <laughs> Challenge. You gotta repeat the patterns of colored lights and sounds. 
The longer you play, the more challenging the pattern gets. The winner's the one who keeps it going the longest. If you miss, you get the Raz in your history. Oh, yeah! The fun is in the challenge, Simon! Take the Simon Challenge, Simon! Simon! Simon. The Mutant League, sports play the mutant way. Today, Bones Justice, Sputer, and Razor Kid challenge the evil KT Slayer. Are you ready for some football? Here's the first play. It's a handoff. Here's Razor's kickoff. It's blocked by Slayer. Yes. Someone's roughing the kicker. Time for your backup head. And Bones is it's back. It's the Bone Cycle. He throws long. Touchdown. Slamming Savage Sports, the Mutant League. It's not quick. New Mutant League sports figures and Bone Cycle, each sold separately. Here, Dark has a secret weapons lab. According to our intelligence reports, they've just developed the ultimate chemical weapon. Ultimate chemical weapon. Mm, those three words make my skin crawl. There. Didn't see a doorbell. <laughs> does not look good. This is Strike Squad. We've cleared the Vipers out of the nest. Understood. Cleanup crew is on its way. Any sign of the ultimate chemical weapon? 
course, since we don't know what that is, we don't know what we're looking for. Forklift arm. Hey, what are you doing? Ooh, yuck. I advise we avoid contact until Newmeyer can tell us what it is. Ooh, what do we have here? Holographic collars? I haven't seen one in years. That's because it's restricted technology, for use only by Alpha and the military. Elsa Lustig loves these. Bet she's involved in this whole scheme. Her passion is for nuclear weapons, but you can't manufacture those in a lab like this. Not to mention, she's in a top security prison in Scotland. Agent Miner, you're beautiful. All of this gruel for little old Elsa? You spoil me. determined the nature of Dark's chemical research? Not yet, but I feel like a kid in a candy store! Drive slowly. I have to start testing this stuff now! Let's roll! It's research back.
there's Newmeyer's signal. Thought we shut down Dark's operations in Lugubria last time around. They must have missed the memo. Camouflage on. Safe at last. Our entire empire could crumble. Genovieve, no make think think in the castle. No, I must still be inside. <laughs> ah, clean us up later. Now, leave us. Where is he? No, he, he, sorry, he'll say. I did not see you there. Water <laughs> under the bridge. This time. Elsa Lusty? But she's all wet. I mean, she's all liquid. I, I don't know what I mean. I assume things went well in Scotland? Hmm? Swimmingly. Phase one went off without a hitch. Oh, look at me, Godot. It's a miracle. I go and wear, do anything. I am the most powerful person in the world! Hmm. For another 24 hours, at least. Oh, why does it have to wear off? Can't our scientists make it permanent? I'm having so much fun. <laughs> oh, you're having too much fun. You're forgetting our mission. The moment I launch NATO's nuclear missiles at the major world capitals, whatever is left will be in Dark's control. <laughs> Shall we adjourn to the world? If Elsa can do what it looks like she can do, there's no place in the world she can't slip into. Including NATO's missile command. No! Liar! Newmeyer, are you Nick? I mean, Chili? I don't see you in here. No! Over here! <gasps> Newmeyer! Hey guys, I think I figured out what Dark was working on. I can't believe this! Oh, believe it! Believe me. Godoff said it wears off eventually, but we've got to get you out of here now. Sponge. I hope this doesn't hurt. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> wow! That's all tight! That's all tight! Be careful! I slosh easily. Camouflage on. You're using my new experimental invisibility cloak? Cool. Once you are past these security stations, the missile command room is here. Then I slip inside, launch the missiles at every major capital in the world. Warning, the intruders detected quadrant four. Finish up here. I'll go greet our visitors. Say, how did you overcome the cloak's weakness to radar detection? What weakness? Hey! We've been discovered. Camouflage off. Looking for me? Did you think Dark wouldn't anticipate your return? <laughs> <laughs> A little sluggish Robocop. Oh, magnetic fields will do that. Elsa, the jet is ready. Shall we? <laughs> Ta da! Kenobi! I'm getting the hang of this. I'll be a lot of fun at parties. I'll be invited to parties. New man. It's going to take some time. Time we don't have. Lustig's getting on a jet right now to start a nuclear war. What are we going to do? Not we. 
You are the only one who can stop Elsa Lusty. You mean I have to save the world? We're doomed. Mr. Superhero, you got on the jet. Now, can you stop it? That's a bad idea. Time for Plan B. Some place without exposed wires. <laughs> it's so cold in here. Mm -hmm. Funny, why would someone put ice cream in a cabinet? We've notified NATO about Dark's plans. They're on full alert. Good work. You and Agent Miner may have just averted a nuclear war. With all due respect, Alpha Prime, we haven't averted it yet. How are we gonna stop Elsa if she gets inside the Missa Control safe room? Without the President's own optical scan, I'm not sure we can get inside. So New Meyer's our only hope? Oh, I sure am gonna miss New Paris. And New Rome. And, well, everything. <laughs> I surrender! And you can't harm a person who surrenders. <gasps> Dr. Cornelius Neumeyer at your service. You were told to expect me? Now, where do you keep your missiles? Wait a minute. 
Oh, your Robocop's drip lackey. I'm no one's lackey. Ugh. Out of my way. 30 seconds to launch. Give me my reach. Oh, the other one. I want that boss. Follow my reach. He's after me, too. Oh, Blake. Can I get my nose? The launch will occur in 15 seconds. 10 seconds. One second to stop the launch. So what do I do? I throw myself into the terminal and short the whole thing out. Pretty clever, huh? Indeed. You should be returning to a solid state any moment now. Hey, this saving the world stuff isn't so tough after all. I thought of everything. <laughs> Not quite. What do you mean? Welcome to Taco Bell. Can I take your order? Uh, let's see. One thousand burrito supremes, seven hundred Mexican pizzas, and one of those new gorditas. Hey, Godzilla, want something to drink? Godzilla's at Taco Bell on four collector cups, and now you can put them in a cool Godzilla cup holder. Get them while supplies last. Tony, now that you've changed to Pepsi, what else would you change? 
I like to be soap on a rope and Claudia Schiffer shower. Well, she's all you'd ever want. She's the kind I'd like to flaunt and take to dinner. <laughs> She always goes to place She's got style, she's got grace She's a winner Me first She's a lady afraid of the big black bat in an uncertain world in a chaotic time justice wears a mask seen your mind freak and revenge Woo! is a trap <laughs> you're a genius <laughs> we learned two face to make a pretty lethal combination <laughs> train me let me be your partner who's your tailor but first let's meet our contestants going down if the bat wants to play, we'll play! <laughs> Was that over the top? Don't work too late. You forgot the part where you kiss the girl. Now, truth always. Batman forever. was nice of your sister to lend us her car so we could go to Wheatland. Uh, who would have thought going to a theme park with a grain motif could be so much fun? What's going on here? And that fiber diet roller coaster? Man riding a bran muffin through a giant digestive tract. Truly thrilling. We haven't seen anyone since we got inside city limits. Uh, you're right, Arthur. The traffic did seem a little light for this time of day. 
Where is everybody? Don't know, but it's starting to smell a little like danger in here. <laughs> or heavily fried food. Hey, guys, uh, say, um, <clears throat> would you mind if I borrowed your car? You see, I'm sort of in a hurry, and we need to get out of town. Oh, yeah, bad, very bad. Uh-oh. <laughs> Minded five. Are we ever glad to see you guys? Say, can we uh, borrow your car? We've got to get out of town. What's your hurry, four legged man? Yeah, would someone please tell us what's going on around here? You mean you don't know? The city's been evacuated. There's already been untold destruction. It's coming. <laughs> Tick, maybe you can do something to stop it. What, what is, is it? it? That Bad, very bad. Oh, for Pete, how bad can it be? I'll just trot around the corner and make quick work of it. Be back in a jiv. Whoa. Clown smash! It's a clown. Perhaps I can reason with it. Hey there, Happy. <coughs> you know, you really pack a wallop. But I don't get it. Clowns aren't supposed to smash. They're supposed to make people laugh. <coughs> Watch out, Tick. He looks like he's going to charge. Nonsense, Arthur. Clowns don't charge. They scamper. They waddle. They caper. They do funny little jigs to amuse. Evidently, angry clowns to charge. Okay, clown, the tick is closing your little circus down. <laughs> That's it. Keep on trucking. <laughs> Hello? Hello, clown? Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Well, once again, we find that clowning and anarchy don't mix. And even though evil may wear big, funny pants, it... <laughs> clown crush! Ooh, clown hug. Crushing body. Need to muster strength. Break free! Uh... <laughs> 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 Okay, people, important note, do not touch the nose. Clown smashed all! No! That's my sister's car! Great. All right, laughing boy, I'm gonna have to put you down before you do some real damage. Clown incoming! Tick! Forget about the tick, Arthur. We've got to worry about ourselves. Clown smash! Ooh. Tick! Tick, this is your mind speaking. Oh, hi. Sorry I haven't been around much lately. I'm easily distracted by shiny objects. Yes, shiny objects are good. Where am I? We, I, outer space, looks like. Outer space, wow. I thought there was an awful lot of space. Why am I here? Well, that I don't know, but I guess, uh, hey. Did you just ask an existentialist question? Well, I don't know, did I? You did, you did. Say something else all smart and philosophical. Huh. It's pretty cold out here. Yes, yes, it's so true. We're all born into the cold, unyielding world of nothing. No blankets, no glove and scarf gift sets. And why? Why? You're pretty goofy. 
Oh, yes, yes. Oh, what a goofy work is man. Yes. I never knew we were such a spiritual seeker. Me neither. This could be a big chance. Tick, let's go on a psychic journey of self-discovery. Okay. Great, great. So, uh, relax and fall into a deep trance. No problem. You're falling deeper and deeper into your own consciousness. We're getting creamed here. We need to withdraw. Arthur, I tend to agree. Something must be done. Can anyone stop that thing? Heroes? <laughs> he can stop the clown. This is Dr. Bud Frontier. He's the man who created that monster. Bud. You created that thing? Did my taxes pay for this? Bad. Very bad. I'm sorry. I haven't got time to explain right now. I've got to deal with Proto Clown. So stop. Stop this madness. <laughs> Proto Clown, listen to me. Why are you doing this? You are not meant to be a force of devastation. You have everything a clown could want, everything necessary to make the world forget its troubles and laugh. Mm. That's right, Proto Clown. Don't you see? You're really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Clown Smash Bud! <laughs> Clown Get Bud! <laughs> That'll give us a minute. Let's get out of here. What now? Arthur, you and the others get Bud to safety. He's our only hope. I'll keep the clown busy. You can't hold that monster off by yourself. I'll stay and help. No, you go. <sighs> I'll stay. Deflator Mouse, you'd stay to help me? Yeah, sure. What kind of a guy do you think I am? Besides, what can you do anyway? Hit it with a shoe? Don't start with me. <laughs> We'll meet you at Civic Minded 5 headquarters. If we survive. Good luck, kid. Clown Smash! I sure hope the Tick is okay. Tick, this flat, desolate, featureless expanse is your mind. Wow, it's really flat. We must cross this region to find the answer to your innermost question. What question? The why are you here question? Oh yeah, that one. Follow me. I shall guide you to the source of your answers. Huh? What's that? Something shiny. What? Where? Out there. Come on! Hey, no fair. I'm supposed to be the guide. Light up! Well, this is a really great HQ setup. Feral Boy even has his own doggy door. Oh, it's not much, but we like it. Um, you were saying you created Proto Clown. What do you mean? I guess I owe you good people an explanation. I've always loved clowns. As a child, they were my favorite part of the circus. I mean, look, they're funny. They make people laugh. Face it, we all love clowns. I reasoned that if a regular clown were funny, then a larger clown would be even funnier. And a whole theme park full of giant clowns, now that would be my gift to the world. I am a genetic engineer by trade. I had spent a great deal of effort in my attempts to build the perfect clown. I labored day and night to perfect the science of clowning. Nothing else mattered. I had succeeded. You can't know the joy I felt. My theories were fact. I possessed the ability to create a super clown. The others were not strong enough to survive, but one grew stronger and stronger and became everything I wanted it to be. This is Proto Clown, the first and last of its kind. My gosh, man! Didn't you realize that it's against the laws of nature? Clowns were never meant to be that big. I know that now. I'm sorry. Yeah, but why is your proto-clown wrecking the city? I'm not sure, but I do know it has something to do with me. <gasps> American made! Oh. The flight of mouse! <gasps> what manner of quandary is this? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta slow down, Tick. Oh, hey, I see you found your pleasure center. 
Yes. <laughs> they sound like they're having so much fun. I have an idea. I'll go take a look. You wait here. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Just a short look. Won't be long. Tick, no, don't. If you go in there, we'll lapse into a coma of pure ecstasy from which we'll never awaken. Ooh, sounds pretty good. <laughs> My mind is a scary place. That's bizarre with a capital B. Tick, behind you! Hey! Tick, Tick, where are you? Tick! You don't date much, do you? Your monster's too tough, Frontier. I let him have it with both of my shoes, and he still kept coming. Oh, both shoes? It is a monster. Mom, what? Where? Oh, the last thing I remember, I was fighting and... Don't you mean fainting? Ho, ho, I think that clown hit you one time too many, sweetheart. Regardless, you both acted heroically. But let's just hope Proto Clown didn't follow you. No, Proto Clown, stop. Let's talk. Hey, Circus Boy, I don't think this is a good time for a heart to heart. Up the stairs, this way. Clown Smash Bird! Boy, when this guy faints, he faints. The garage, it's our only chance. Clown Smash! It should have busted in by now. Where is it? Huh? What's happening? You don't want to know, the fainter mouse. You know, that whole water serpent thing sure ended suddenly. Yes, these psychic journeys tend to jump around a lot. That's why you need a good spiritual guide to lead you. No way, pal. You don't even know where you're going. <laughs> hey, a giant statue. What is it? Oh, sure, now you ask. This is your self-image. Ooh, I look cool. This is our chance to delve deep into our psyche and find the immutable truth. You can ask it one and only one question. Okay, okay, one question, check. <coughs> um, uh... How you doing? Oh, great. That's your big question? That's your big truth? You goober. Look, thumbs up. We're doing fine. <laughs> That's good to know. Yeah, that last one didn't count, okay? Hello? Hey, hey, hello? <clears throat> Why are we here? Hey, hey, stop that! What kind of answer is this? Who are these little guys? We've triggered your defense mechanisms. Run for it! Jeez. Oh, I had no idea that I was so defensive. Out! Cut that! Out. Leave me alone! <laughs> it's quiet. Almost too quiet. It was at the door. We should be hero gumbo by now. What happened? I can't stand it anymore. You guys can wait for that thing to bust in here and pound you. I'm getting out. Oh, man, don't you ever knock. Wait, let me through. I said let me through. If he wants me, he can have me. I'm running no more. <laughs> Clown smash, bud! Smash me. I no longer care. But tell me, I beseech you, Proto Clown, why are you so angry? <laughs> but laugh! But laugh at Proto Clown! Yeah, don't, don't bud, laugh, bud. No, no, no. What's this? Never mind, just push the up button. Push the up button! Come on, come on, come on! Come on! Ugh. I don't think I'll be able to eat fish for a while. 
Hey, Mind, where are we? This is your Escalator of Enlightenment. Ooh, really? What do I need one of these for? <laughs> oh, gee, I guess I don't know. At this rate, you'll be back to midget land in no time. No more midgets. Hurry up already. What's keeping you, slowpoke? Uh, I don't have little wings on my head like some people. <laughs> hup, 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 hup. What's the matter? Getting tired? No pain, no gain, little mister. <laughs> Must make it. Must succeed. Must be all that I can be. <laughs> Whoa. Congratulations, you've reached the top! Now, for further enlightenment, you must clear your mind and step out into the void. Pardon me? I step off? I fall? Boy, do I fall! You faithless Philistine, you won't fall if you clear your mind and believe! Now, cover your eyes and clear your consciousness. Hurry up, chop chop! Is it clear? Uh-huh. You sure it's clear now? Yeah. Are you absolutely sure? Yes! Without a shadow of a- I said yes! It's clear! Good. What? <coughs> Oh, yeah, really clear. So why are we falling? You said your mind was clear. Well, it was clear. I mean, except for stuff. No time for excuses. There's only one way out of this predicament. Tick, why are you here? Wait, I, I know this one. Uh, no, don't tell me. I'm here because a big clown hit me. No, no, see there? That wasn't so hard. How do you feel? I feel, I feel hot. That'd be re-entry. Bye. I mean, I'm really burning up here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And it's a dry heat, too. I never realized how you felt, Proto-Clown. I'm so sorry. I was so busy with my own humor needs, I wasn't thinking about you. From now on, I will never laugh at you again. Clown love bud. Bud love clown. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, Proto Clown. It was an accident. Bud laugh, but friends laugh. Clown smash, then clown laugh. Tick, you're back. I am. You saved us all. I did. Oh, I see. Well, yes, I guess I did. All in a day's work, right, Arthur? I'm glad to see you too, Tick. I guess I'll just take him back to my lab and somehow make him less funny. Maybe if I disconnect the honking nose, things will work out. All I wanted to do was make people happy, and now all I'm responsible for is citywide damage. Why? How? Don't take it so hard, mister. There are many mysteries in this universe, big and small. Like, why do clowns make us laugh? Why do we love puppy dogs? And why, why do little blue midgets hit me with fish? What? See what I mean? Mysteries abound. 